today I want to show you how I took this shot from a recent wedding I did out in New York and turned it into this. Obviously you can see lighting conditions less than ideal and that's the point of this tutorial today. Sometimes you're going to have less than ideal shots and I want to show you how you can still get an amazing clean image out of it. So let's get into it. In DaVinci Resolve today, obviously, with the Blackmagic 6K Pro. And we use the Sigma 18-35. to I believe I did have a ProMist filter on there. And uh, I definitely shot this probably 1.8 because it was dark, as you're going to see here in a second. But uh, this is the shot uh, that I want to show you all today. And I really wanted to do a tutorial on this because a lot of times, especially in the wedding world, you're going to have possibly less than ideal light and you're just going to be in this situation and you have to make the most most of it and I just want to show you how you can still get a great clean image out of it so um, this is the shot that we're going to be working with today as you can see uh, it's literally completely black outside there's a lot of noise that we need to clean up in this image but um, we're still going to make it look uh, amazing. So um, as you can see here I want to go down to the camera raw panel here to start and this was shot at 1250 ISO and then down at our scopes here at the bottom. Um, it's definitely a little bit more underexposed than I would have liked. Uh, generally, when you're shooting in any type of log format, most cameras just perform a lot better overexposing rather than underexposing. But, um, you know, this was just the circumstance we're in. Again, less than an ideal shot. So uh, we first want to start. I'm actually going to bump up the ISO on this shot a little bit. I'm not gonna push it all the way up to 3,200, probably right around 2,000. I think this is gonna put us in a really good spot. And then I just wanna kinda park this um, at a spot where I feel like it's a good place to grade. That looks, man, that, that works, that works. All right, so uh, we're gonna go over here to my standard uh, note tree that I've been using for my wedding work as of right now. So uh, we start off here with noise reduction. Uh, we're then going to go into our primary. So primary is going to consist of your contrast, your saturation, uh, mid-tone detail, which is seriously one of my favorite features in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, then it's going to also touch on just the lift, gamma, and gain. So nothing too crazy. Uh, we then will move on to our adjustment node just to make any fine-tune adjustments before we actually apply our color grade. Um, then we're going to have our HSL, just hue, saturation, and luminance adjustments. Our look node, so when we apply just a little bit of different colors to it, our sharpening, maybe a little bit of glow at the end, and then this is our color space transform. Okay, so we're gonna start with our color space transform or CST. And as you can see, this is just essentially taking that raw footage and then converting it into a Rec. 709 image for us. And these are my settings here. I just wanna be as transparent as possible with you all and just help you out. So input color space, pretty standard, Gen 4, Gen 5, input gamma. Um, output color space, I personally use the wide gamut Gen 4, Gen 5, and then we're just converting into gamma 2.4, just standard stuff there. So um, as you can see here, once you do the conversion, this shot is dark. So that's why I really wanted to use it because I feel like it's going to be a good example. So um, we're going to go to our primaries here to start. And Normally, I would start off with contrast, but with this shot, as you can see, there's already a lot of contrast in the image just because it's so dark outside. We have the lights. So for this shot in particular, I'm actually going to go straight into um, my lift gamma gain controls in the primaries, and I'm going to just start raising my gamma up a little bit and then also with my gain. And then again, this is just going to be a dance between the two. So I'm going to bring my gamma down a little bit. Um, I'm really wanting to raise the gain on this shot in particular, just because I really want to bring out the lights in the image, like that pop, you know, really kind of set the scene for that. Um, and as you can see, we already, I mean, just in a couple clicks, right? Just before, after, we're already kind of getting in a good spot. Of course, as you can see, there's a ton of noise, which we're, we'll, we'll clean up towards the end here. But um, this is what we're looking at here to start. I'm then going to go to my mid-tone detail, which is over here in the primaries, and I'm just going to bring this down um, probably to like 25 or so. This is like one of my favorite features. It just kind of gives it this overall just soft kind of look uh, to the image and try not to do it too much because then you lose um, some of the sharpness to it, but um, I love using it. It's one of my favorite features. So uh, from there... We're going to white balance this, so I'm going to go over into my camera raw panel, 
And that's one of the awesome things about shooting in RAW and the B-RAW is that you can adjust the color temperature natively. And we're just going to bring this color temperature down until, you know, it's in a good place where, you know, basically her dress is white. So obviously that's a little bit too much there. And we'll bring it right about there. And then overall, it's looking a little too green right now. So I'm just going to bring my tint up a little bit and just raise that more over to the magenta. And I think that's in a much better spot here. Okay. So now I'm going to go into my adjustment node. We're going to turn this on. Now in the adjustment node, typically this is where I'm going to use my curve. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to check editable split lines and I'm going to just raise this up a little bit and I'm going to go down to, oops, I'm going to go down to our shadows. I'm just going to bring this down ever so slightly um, just to give it just a, and I'm going to go back to the highlights here, but just to give this a little bit more, a little bit more pop. And you can see here um, before and then after it just kind of fills everything out a little bit better. Um, and I think honestly that that looks great. Um, I'm then going to go into my printer lights and for some reason with, well, not for some reason, but with the black magic sensor, it just, even with having like an IR filter on here, I mean, granted, like you're not gonna have to worry about that at a nighttime shot, but it just leans a lot more. I feel like towards just red in general. So I'm going to bring the red channel down just ever so slightly. I mean, it's very subtle, um, but I feel like it just overall gets the image in a better spot. Um, so I think we're good there. We're going to go um, to our next node, HSL, and just do, um, I'll show you um, what it's doing. It's nothing crazy. I don't, um, not adjusting anything in the hues. Um, there's not really much, very, very subtle like else there. So for here, I think what we'll do is we're going to going to go now to our look node and I'm going to boost up the saturation a little bit just to give it a little bit more color and life to the image. So I think that's a good spot. So before, after, maybe we'll bring it back down. I don't want it like too saturated. Okay. And then from here, um, I'm going to go now to our primaries again. And in my gain, I'm actually going to bring this more towards the teal um, to really clean up those white lights and make sure they really pop out as, as white. And as you can see, that's really selling those lights. Cause before you can see, I mean, look at it, it was kind of like that green tinginess and now it kind of gives you that, you know, magenta bright white type feeling, which I, I really like personally. So, um, and then here we're going to go into our gamma and, um, I'm just going to start playing around with it a little bit. So we're going to go, um, maybe not that warm. So maybe I'll bring it back. Maybe we'll actually, um, bring this more towards like the yellow just ever so slightly. And then I'm going to go to my lift over here and I'm going to bring this over to the blue as well. Um, I don't really want this overly warm um, for this image. I, I just feel like it doesn't fit the scene personally. So I think just before and after you can see here, still kind of a little flat. There's not as much like separation in here. We can really get the separation between the lights and um, the foliage here and they still pop her dress um, more or less white here. And I think it's starting to really be in a good, sh good spot. And then we'll apply our sharpening here, just sharpen everything up. And then here's our glow tool, which I think is going to be a really good example on this uh, shot. So as you can see here, as I'm increasing the strength, maybe it's a little bit too much, but just adds an ever so slight just bloom to the highlights there. So you can see before and then after just with the glow tool, it really centers your helps center your attention also on them, I feel like as well. And then our final thing we're going to do is just apply our our noise reduction. Now, here's a really good example when applying this, because you can see here when I don't have it applied, it looks, you know, more or less correct or how I want it. But when I do apply the noise reduction, you can see it kind of shifts a little bit more green. Um, and the reason for that is because there's so much, <laughs> there's, there's so much color noise in this image, because again, it wasn't an ideal shot. I mean, you can see all the red and the foliage and when we're cleaning that up, 
um, when the noise when the noise reduction is cleaning up, it kind of almost shifts more towards the green. So what we need to do is counteract that. And the easiest way to do that, I feel personally, just going back in the camera raw settings and adjusting the tinge. And we're just going to increase that magenta just a little bit to compensate for that. And then as you can see, when we zoom out, it's it's right back where we started, right? So that's just a quick little correction. If that's something that you've noticed where you're like, probably noise reduction, it's like, wait, it, it shifted a little bit. What, what happened? So um, that's just an easy way, I feel like, to, to clean that up. And this is our final shot. So um, as you can see here, I mean, this looks super clean as you could probably get shooting at this high of a um, an ISO. But um, I mean, definitely more... Um, more than doable. And I feel like it just, it looks, it looks great. So um, I'm hoping, hoping this, this helped you all and uh, definitely going to be coming out with a lot of color grading tutorials this year. Uh, my thoughts on the black magic pro and using that uh, as a wedding, you know, camera and how much I love it and still going to be very much using this camera going into 2023. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, until the next one. Later, y'all.